uh, really the great comedian uh, Richard Pryor uh, one time and and uh, he in one of his stand-up uh, acts you know he would you know said comedians have a way to making comedy out of pain they make comedy out of pain and he, he was talking in one of his um, stand-up routines and he, he talked about how uh, as a black man and, and uh, I, I've never had a chance to meet Richard Pryor in my life before he passed. I never did that. Was, um, but, but this is something that I knew full well what he was talking about. And he said, when, we, when, we're, we're at the, when you're driving your car down the street and you pass a squad car, you pass one another. He said, he said instantaneously, no one tell you, instantaneously, right? He says, you look in that rear view mirror. You look in that mirror. Because there's always the idea, there's always the thought that perhaps they will turn around and they will come after and they will pull you over to do that. Now, this, in terms of, it's like, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a trained psychologist, I'm a, I'm a lay psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> so my training tells me right, that this is sustained trauma. To have to live under that kind of, uh, that I have my license, I'm not speeding, I have my registration, my insurance is up to date, right? I, I don't have any warrants for my arrest. Then why do I feel the need to have to do that? Instantaneously, no one, has, no one tells me that. No one tells me that. I even notice that now I have a son, he's 23 years old now. And I was riding with him. He has a new car. So he goes, Dad, come ride with me. I'm like, great. You can burn your gas up, not my gas, right? <laughs> For once. So I ride with him, and we're, we're, he's taking me around. I'm in mind his new car, this kind of thing. And we passed the police car. I never told him what I'm telling you now. That you need, I never said you need to do this. But he, as I noticed him do this, as soon as we were doing it, almost instantaneously, without even being said, he, 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 he hit the rear view mirror just to check. I know his car was like, I know, he, I know he has his license. I know he has registration. I know his insurance is intact. He was not speeding. I was riding with him. He, he, he did everything above the law, yet he still felt the need to do that. Now, in some way, I've contributed to that because he's watched me. He's, he's watched me model this kind of thing to him. So I've essentially have passed on a level of trauma to my son, who he no doubt will pass on to his son, and like this, so on and so forth. 